good morning. It's time to sew our larkspur. So um, hopefully you remember to get these out of the freezer. <laughs> I forgot, um, but they need to be in the freezer for a week, two weeks if you can, uh, because they need a process called stratification, which means that they need to go through a cold period in order to germinate larkspur. So in nature, they would be in the ground um, and they would be getting that real cold from the frosts. We have to artificially create that situation if we are growing our larkspur with an autumn sown, which is what we are doing for the strongest, floweriest flowers. So um, this has been in the freezer for, let's say, a couple of weeks. And um, now it's time to sew it. So I have got um, here, I'm going to sew mine. I have got some of these, these plug trays. So they're kind of the same as uh, module trays, only a little bit deeper. And the reason that I'm sewing in these this time is just because when I want to um, pot these on, right, and take them out of these this tray, it's really easy just to squeeze the bottom and they will kind of pop up and out because they have a what's called a tap root, which we don't want to um, we don't want to break. We don't want to risk breaking it because. Um, Larkspur don't necessarily like being transplanted, but it's because of that tap root. So we just want to be able to be very careful with it when we transplant it. So you want to sew in one of those or last year, I mean, I just sewed in a, in a module tray like this, uh, which is a normal plastic module tray you can get in your local garden center or on Amazon. You probably want to avoid just sprinkling over um, into a seed tray and then pricking them all out because their roots are so Kind of vulnerable to breaking uh, that if you can you want to sew them in separate modules so the other important thing as well as the cold and their delicate tap roots um, the thing that we want to remember with larkspur is that they need uh, dark and cool to germinate right so um, these are not ones that you would stick on your kitchen windowsill in the warmest room in the house um, these are ones that we are going to cover over and then we're going to put them in a in the coolest place you can find for me that's going to be out in my shed Ideally, they need about 13, 15 degrees centigrade to germinate. And um, it's a little bit warm for that now at the moment, but at night it gets down, it's getting cooler. And these can take up to three weeks to germinate. So I'm sowing these now, kind of last week in September. So I sowed them in August last year, but they were still absolutely good to go um, in those temperatures. But keep them cool, keep them dark. Remember um, that some people think they're quite tricky to germinate but I, I didn't have a problem and it was the first time around that I tried them last year and they were beautiful. They're so worth um, trying, but just you just have to be patient with them. So I'll show you step by step what we're going to do. So I've put some, uh, um, I put some compost in here, peat free compost. I'm just shaking it down to make sure there's no gaps. And then what I'm going to do, just put my chair over. And then what I'm going to do is, um, I've already watered this compost, so I don't need to water it again afterwards. There's no risk of me displacing any seeds. Um, it's already damp. You don't, with larkspur, um, they don't like it really, really, really wet. So make sure you're, I'm giving my compost a good soaking now, and then I'm hoping to not have to water that again uh, until I get germination, but I will keep checking on it. But just remember that all the way through the growing season, that they do like it not too, um, not too wet. So I've got my larkspur, I have my label, right? Always have your label because you'll forget otherwise what you've sewn. You'll think, oh, I'll remember that and you really won't. So take your seeds. And then what I'm going to do is I have this uh, thing here uh, called a dibber. Um, you could just use a pencil. I mean, that's what I did before I got all fancy and got one of these last year. Um, and you just make a little, you're just making a little dint. Hopefully you can see this here and um, we're just going to drop the seeds in so they're kind of of a size that you can just grab them with your fingertips You just want one in each hole, obviously. These do grow tall, so you're going to want to stake them. Uh, just we'll we'll do that bit together, but just so you know. 
pop those back into the packet. And I, so I will pop these back into the freezer now to make sure um, they stay nice and fresh. So, because I might do another sewing in the spring. So just cover these over. We want to exclude light. That's the other thing we need to remember about Larkspur. Okay, so I've covered those over. And then what I'm gonna do, because I really do mean exclude light, is I'm going to take one of these trays with no holes in it. And after I've put this label in, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it upside down like this over the top. And I'm gonna take this whole tray and I'm gonna put it in the shed. Now, this um, can take up to three weeks to germinate, right? But I tell you what, I am gonna be checking this baby every day, every morning, it's gonna become part of my morning routine to just go and check under the lid because as soon as any of these germinate, they're going to need light. And as soon as they need light, as soon as any of them come up, they're gonna need light. So I'm gonna whip this top off. And from that point on, um, if any, there are any that haven't germinated, I'll just add a little bit more soil over the top, a bit more compost over the top, just to really try and exclude light as much as possible. And then these will go out into a cold frame. So they're not gonna go in the nice warm greenhouse. They're going to go into, a, I have a cold frame outside, which is kind of halfway between a um, greenhouse and a just being outside, right? So it's just a, f I mean, my husband built it out of pallets and bits of plastic. So you've probably seen it on some of my videos. So it's kind of like a halfway house, but you can keep them in a porch or you could keep them in a sheltered spot in your garden. You could keep them inside one of the white plastic boxes that some of our growers grow in um, as their mini kind of made up greenhouses. The idea is though that you want to try and keep them um, cool. And then when the temperatures really start to drop, if they're like this size, we can, we're going to put these out into the garden if they get to that size before a couple of weeks before your last frost, right? Maybe four weeks before your last frost. If they're not a decent size, we'll keep them under cover all, all winter and we'll plant them out um, next spring. But if we can get them big enough, these are hardy and they will be fine in the ground over the winter. Um, they can handle the frosts. So I, I, last year, mine were all in the ground and they were out there through the snow and the rain and everything and they gave me some beautiful flowers last year so they are hardy they can handle that we just need to make sure that they are big enough before they go out bearing in mind they might take three weeks to germinate we don't know what the temperature is going to do this year we don't even really know i mean we kind of know when the frosts are going to come but it's been a funny old year um so we need them to be a certain size before we can put them in the garden otherwise the slugs will just decimate them uh, but we want to try and get them in the garden if we can it's a lot easier to look after them in the garden uh, with the help of the weather than it is to, to keep watering and mithering over them in the greenhouse all winter long, which you are going to be doing with some of your um, hardy annual seeds, especially those that we, that we sow in October, November, December, obviously. But the less you have to worry about in there, the better. If we can get them in the ground, we will. Um, but let's grow together and see if we're sowing them now at this time of the year, um, chances are they... they we don't know. They may or may not get big enough. Anyway, so if you've forgotten to take your larkspur out of the freezer, go and get them out of the freezer. If you forgot to put them in, don't skip that step. Really do go and get them and put them in the freezer for a week. Get them out and then do this process with them. And I'll let you know as soon as mine germinate. Okay? Happy sewing, guys. Oh, by the way, these are in our September kit. And I, as I'm recording this this morning, there are 15 kits left. So if you haven't got one and you want to grow beautiful, beautiful larkspur, um this is your chance to go grab one quick um if they're not in the if you can't see a september kit in the store by the time you get there it's because we've sold out uh sorry um but yes go get sewing your uh, larkspur this weekend take care guys see you soon